about back in December, a Knoxville photographer who set out to capture the portraits of 100 people with red hair is overwhelmed by the response, not just in East Tennessee, but all over the country. As Emily DeVoe tells us, she's releasing a book with the prized photos that she hopes will empower who she calls her redheaded beauties. When Megan Clute first started this journey, Finding 100 people with red hair to pose for the camera seemed like a lofty goal. But 10 months later, I haven't showed anybody the inside of the book yet. She's opening the final chapter. When they open this book, I just hope that they're like, oh my goodness, that is me. And just, just being so proud of who they are and, you know, and be proud of your red hair and everything that comes with it. A book containing all of the portraits she took before the pandemic. I'm, I'm very excited for everybody. Several more than her goal of 100. I don't know, she just looked peaceful. While yeah. she focused on people in East Tennessee. After the story aired in December, redheads from all over the country reached out. Text messages, phone calls, emails, all like all social media. My Instagram, my Facebook, um, my Gmail, everything. She hopes the book highlights the beauty she sees in everyone she met. Her fascination with red hair began when she first moved to Tennessee from the Philippines. I love him every time. I still, I still do that. I'm like, oh, there's a redhead, you know, redhead beauty. And I would, I would literally say redhead beauty, no? No, okay. While the pandemic is putting plans for future projects like this one on hold. Hopefully make another book, like a volume two. She's far from over, capturing the beauty of that fiery red hair. I'm Emily DeVoe reporting. Now Megan recently received the first copy of her Red Headed Beauties book that's available for pre-order.